हम लोग जी पाकिस्तान स्पेस साइंस एजुकेशन सेंटर के को फाउंडर्स हैं माय नेम इज़ अरताज वसीम आई एम द चीफ एग्जीक्यूटिव ऑफिसर दिस इज़ निहान फारूक एंड ही इज़ द चीफ डिज़ाइन ऑफिसर एंड वी हैव कम अप विद दिस कॉन्सेप्ट सिंस थ्री इयर्स इट्स बिन थ्री इयर्स कि हम लोग इस पे काम कर रहे हैं इस आइडिया के ऊपर फॉर प्रमोटिंग स्पेस साइंस एजुकेशन इन पाकिस्तान एंड we basically thought that there was need for developing a curriculum um for schools um for space science education because iske upar itna zyada focus hame nazar nahi aata hai jo school curriculum abhi aaj ke liye use ho raha hai all right so pssec stands for uh pakistan space science education center all right and it's a private organization or you are funded by government uh we're not funded by government we're handling it All right. So three years back, you started this organization. Yes. Uh, what was the first thing in your mind that you know that clicked you that we should start uh, doing this in Pakistan? Um, so there is an abundance of STEM education centers in Pakistan. Mm-hmm. But most of them are focused on robotics. Uh, we thought it's better to take a fresh direction, take a new direction, but we just made robotics be included. But we thought that we have to go in a direction which is very upcoming field area, which is space science. Because in 2025 or 2030s, we will uh, go to Mars. So uh, we thought it would be a good direction if we talk about space science specifically around the exploration of Mars. And already there is some organization in Pakistan that is because we don't know nothing about space science. Yes. Already there is some organization in Pakistan that is because we we know nothing about the work of space science is being done in Pakistan. So tell us about that. Um, so the thing is, we're actually the first dedicated space science education center in Pakistan. Okay. Uh, we go from all the way to ages four and up, five and up. Yeah. Okay. That's the idea. Um, so we're really proud to be the first people who have um, entered the foray of space education. There's one more thing I would want to add. Um, STEM education, the way it's seen in Pakistan these days, um, it actually started with robotics, and that's what people think it is. and a lot of stem education institutes these days they are offering robotics they are offering game development um they do develop the 21st century skills um but the idea is not to restrict the concept of stem education to those things only and this is another um branch of stem education that i feel um our kids should know about um also considering that there's a lot going on in terms of discovery and exploration around the planet of mars um we feel that um our children don't know about that and that is why we're creating awareness and doing sessions um which are related to the teaching of science and teaching strategies hands on science but all under the theme of space science all right so you are working with different schools and uh, education institutions and yes. what is the response of uh, students so far that's <laughs> it's excellent that i have seen that's why, that's why i'm asking uh, well, it's been excellent so far i think our first um, John the session kya that was in British Council Karachi in the last week of April okay um there's the 27th and the 28th of April which 28th is 28th and the 29th yeah 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 um the response was spectacular i mean it expect bilkul nahi kiya tha ki we have such a good response and after that we got different different organizations coming up to us and asking us ki ji aap log hamare saath bhi kare and of course we couldn't say no because that's what we have for that's what that's what we're doing and now that's why we're in law right now and connecting uh, with again the British Council the whole library any collaboration you are doing with the international organizations that are working in the field of space sciences nasa anyone has anyone recognize the work you are doing in pakistan that you have started uh, that's a little classified for now we're working on a few things which okay. we can't talk about right now but it's happening it's how we have reached out um so i was in the us um last month mm-hmm. in may basically okay. for another um event which was uh, destination imagination Um, over there, there was an innovation expo, and I happened to meet with the team of NASA over there. So there were different exhibitors. Um, there was a space camp um, uh, who had their exhibit over there, and uh, I did speak with their team over there. And uh, the school outreach team, um, or the outreach team head, um, she showed great interest in this, um, and she was really excited to know that um, you know we're doing it in Pakistan. So yes, we're reaching out to people. um we're reaching out to schools um one thing that i would want to add when we um you know we've been doing it since april this year recently we did a workshop for thar foundation with their collaboration we went to thar it was a week long experience um and you can imagine the the kind of um children we we faced over there there was language barrier and all of that um but i believe that we managed really well it was a great learning experience for our team 
for us um, and for them as well. So we cater to about 500 students over there and about 50 teachers. Um, so we offer teachers training and we modeled how science education should be imparted um, to the students. So that was a great experience. Um, Third Foundation has been very open um, about calling us again. So we plan to have uh, more camps, week-long camps um, in, you know, in Lahore um, and in Thur. Um, so yes, we're looking at collaborations. Um, there is a very good response from the Pakistani market. <laughs> What do you recommend that scope for youngsters in the field of space sciences in Pakistan and which organization do you feel is offering the best education in the field of uh, space sciences? Um, unfortunately, um, we can't really speak for what other organizations okay. are doing because our associates are links, so we can't really speak for them. But our basic purpose is that we want to go to our kids STEM fields um, STEM is basically science, technology, engineering, and mathematics. We have a doctor and engineer in the field, and we have a lot field that we explore. Exactly. So, we have to say that we have to do this. This is one of the ways which we are trying to do. We have to say that you just don't have this, you just don't have an engineer and a doctor, you have other fields. That so, you what can career do. options we will be having after you know, studying space sciences in Pakistan? In Pakistan, yes, basically this is to inspire them to do, um, you know, for these things. So, like, you know, there are roles like, so when we're doing this training for astronauts and all, mm. we don't really hear about biologists, physicists, mm. um, geologists, right? Mm -hmm. So these chemists, I mean, these are the careers and, um, you know, professions that we don't really talk about. Mm -hmm. So we are, you know, informing the students, letting them know about these fields, that these are also there. Um, and that is why we're preparing them because you know um, globally there's there's this uh, this mission to Mars is I think a global campaign I would say where the scientists and engineers are working towards that. So a job of an engineer is not only limited to like I would say that you know until a few years ago we hadn't heard about mechatronics engineering and even our universities were not offering it. Hmm. But you know, from from the past few years, we hear that a lot of universities are offering that discipline as well. So it's all about you know creating awareness, creating the need, giving options to our youth um, for pursuing these careers. So what is the role of government in all this? What do you think government is giving enough support for uh, space sciences education in Pakistan? Um, again, it's a completely different organization. We can't really speak on that. Right. Um, but but at least something positive or negative. What do you see? Well, with, with the awareness that we're creating, mm -hmm. I think um, 10 years ago, I, I was there, we were involved in STEM education, nobody mm -hmm. knew about robotics, even mm -hmm. when I did my software engineering, mm -hmm. I did not know that I'll be doing robotics at mm -hmm. that time. I think it's all about creating awareness, it's all about letting people know what, what are the mm -hmm. different options. So we're working towards that and hopefully the government will respond to it, we're hopeful. All right. So, what are your hopes uh, regarding space science in Pakistan 2025? What is Pakistan will be involved in Mars? Is it possible? The plan is that if you inspire today's children, they will be able to make a mission of today's children. I will talk a little bit about the grim part, which is our generation, which unfortunately is one of the biggest projects that we have in Mars, they will not be able to make a mission of today's children. Because of our age and generational difference and all that. आज के बच्चों जो अभी जो सेवेन, टेन, फिफ्टीन इयर्स ओल्ड हैं, अगर आप आज उनको इंस्पायर और ट्रेन करोगे तो कल जा के वो आपकी इस मिशन में वो अपना नाम लिखा सकते हैं। अदरवाइज अगर हम लोग हमें वी जस्ट नीड टू फोकस ऑन स्पेस एजुकेशन, स्पेस साइंस एजुकेशन और एक है कि स्पेस इज़न्ट जस्ट लिम flourish all the different fields as well. Mm -hmm. Civil engineering, hogi, mechanical, hogi, mechatronics. Hogi. Um, just think about it. Boy, it's just not one thing. NASA mm -hmm. shuru kiya tha, they're inventing all these different, different things. So hopefully, maybe in the future, we'll... Uh, Any we'll message you, you want to give to audience right now at the end of your interview? Um, the message is that, um, you know, they, they should support the idea because it is for education. We are imparting space science education. We really want all the support from the parents and from the children, but well, the children do get excited and yeah. so then the parents get excited. Um, and I really hope that you know we as a community come together 
and support this initiative um, because that is really, really needed um, as a community coming together, supporting something of this sort um, because this is for our younger generation um, and that is the whole idea. Thank you so very much both of you and we wish you all the best for your space science missions in Pakistan and inshallah we will see Pakistan growing in this future. Inshallah. Thank you so much. Thank you, Thank you so much. much.